back again for the olden days. We've not got the Carabao Cup final. Disclaimer, it was postponed. So we've got FA Cup football and Champions League football today. Plus, let me catch up on a couple of new signings. And quite frankly, the worst own goal you've ever seen. Or best, whichever way you look at it. Let's jump in. So where to start? Well, let's start with a change of formation. We've got two up top now, and I'll tell you for why. Because we're playing people like Barrios here, and Barrios is actually better as a striker. And we've also bought Campos for £17 million. Diego Campos is our highest earner at the club, and he's a very good player. If we compare him to... Let's let's compare him to Thiago, because Thiago has played second fiddle to James Taylor this season. I mean, no comparison, right? He's just so much better. Yeah, he's worth less. But yeah, he's a, he's, he's considerable, a considerable upgrade. And he's, he's hit the ground running, really. In five games, uh, he's scored three goals. Only one in the league, unfortunately. League form's been rubbish. Um, You were here for Emerson. We saw Emerson. There he is, old Emmy Emerson. We've got the faces back as well. Got rid of the rubbish regen faces, new gen faces. Um, another Pino. Frank Pino has got a friend. Pino. He's got a Pino pal. Pen pal. Pino pal is no namesake. Luca Pino, the Italian deep line playmaker. Um, don't need another deep line playmaker. And I spent forty five and a half million pounds on him. Why? Don't know. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> but he's at the ground running. He's done all right. But I don't know why I've bought him. Uh, so yeah, that's the transfers in and in terms of the outs. Not sure why it's not appearing there, the transfers. The transfers just haven't appeared. The outs have. Juan Pablo Vera, he left for, to go to Roma for 17 million. Rizzo, as we saw, went to Al Itihad. Carrasco also left. Um, also, we had a, a corruption in the save game. So if you look back at the schedule, we didn't actually beat, draw to Tottenham in this game. We lost. But I had to replay the Tottenham-Birmingham-Tottenham game from the episode. And the, the main objective was to progress in the cup and uh, Carabao Cup. Progress, can progress in both cup competitions to keep it uh, uh, level. And it, we, we did. We won the games. We got through. And Man City are also in the final. So it, nothing really has changed. Following on from that, we drew one all against Liverpool. We then beat Inter 4-1 before three draws in a row. Leicester. Luca Pina with the 93rd minute equaliser. Then drew against Celtic. Then we drew against Arsenal. Lost to Spurs. And then this. This game. Championship side Luton. Right? 1-0 down. Make it 1-1. 2-1 up. I think, man, bloody hell, finally. 2-2. Two -two. And he's like, oh my God. Then we're 3-2 up. And I'm thinking, this has been far more difficult than it should have been. And then Julian Rojas, who is complaining he's not playing enough. Just throwing that out there. He's complaining he's not playing enough. He does this. The camera can't even keep up. The camera can't even keep up. Should we watch this from another angle? What a finish. I don't even know where to start. Don't even know. So, yeah, three all, and we went for a replay. Then we played Brentford, and we decided, Do you know what? Let's take our frustration out on Brentford, and we battered them 7-0, before we then drew against Luton again, sneaking it on penalties. Then we drew against Chelsea, having scored in the first minute, which means we're now fourth, six points off the pace of the title. Newcastle are in fifth, four points behind, same as Brighton. But we are two points separating. So it, jumps of, it jumps up in two-point increments. You've got 54, 56. 58 and 60 for the top four if you look at the past positions there we are we've always been overachieving but we've really fallen from grace recently and is that to do with the change of formation to accommodate the extra striker i don't know maybe not but today we've got the first game we've got the fa cup fifth round sorry against newcastle and the first round first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. We don't even know who that's against yet. Then we're going to go off camera and going to play Leeds and then we're going to come back for the second leg of the Champions League and then we're going to play City in the Carabao Cup final, skipping out Everton. So, yeah, let's get to it. Here's the draw. Should we, should we view it? Start draw. Let's put it, on, put it on times three. Oh, we've just got to click it. This is rubbish. How slow is this? We've got Barcelona. Right, Barcelona. Again, God, can't can't get away from playing Barcelona, can we? Oh, and they've moved the Man City game closer to inside of the Everton game. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Also, for anyone who cares, um, if this is the SAS 24 skin, not the SAS 23 that we were using throughout a lot of our FM23 content. Um, SAS has just dropped the new skin, and it's even better than it was before. It is so good. This tablet looks phenomenal. Play it scores. Let's get the league table up. Oh, can't have a league table because it's um oh. Part of the league table because it's a cup. Anyway, here comes Barrios. Across. Jahic. Here come Newcastle now. Maurice. Crittenden. 
Baker. Oh, Emerson dispossesses Baker. He's then dispossessed himself and Baker's got it back. It's a very scrappy bit of play. Baker's through. Oh, thought he was going to score. We wanted Baker. He's on loan at Newcastle from United. And they've got a stupidly low um, mandatory or optional future fee. He wanted far too much money. I couldn't afford him. He wanted like nearly 300k a week. I'd argue he's worth it. But we weren't in a position to offer that when our wage budget's like 1.8 mil. Both of our new signings, Luca, Luca Pino and uh, Diego Campos, are both in the one. 50s, 160s. Oh no, sorry, Luca Pino's on 75. Emerson's on 110, but Diego Campos was on 165. Yeah, so we had a different transfer that wanted about one. He's just sorry, he wanted about 200, and I was trying to get him for 160, 165. It wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. So half time, uh, not being good enough. Not being good enough. Uh, Diego Campos has been crap. And unfortunately, I'm not sure what to do. Frank Pino's coming on for him. Where am I playing him? Inside forward. Swap him and Barrios round. Barrios is the main man up top. Uh, Zhao, oh, Zhao Paolo's playing crap as well. We've gone back to this formation. Phil Day's not playing great either. Off for Rojas. There we go. Three changes. And of course, it's Newcastle at the start of the second half with the highlight. But here comes De Kuiper. Jahic. Klingenberg, the substitute. Duke's inside. Pake. Jahic. Into Emerson. Pake. Jahic. Klingenberg's... He wants it. We've lost out. Here comes Newcastle. Leandro Rebass with a great challenge. Not good enough, though. Going to go in. They're going to score here. Cerudo. They shouldn't score here. We should have got rid of this a long time ago. And there you have it. Here comes the berating. Absolutely fuming at this. We're going to be out of the FA Cup. We could go out of the Champions League. And we might lose the Carabao Cup final. All in the space of two episodes and five games. Klingenberg. Come on. Come on. Emerson. The pass should have been played already. Frank Pino. What a substitution. He's only been on the pitch six minutes. Straight from kickoff. That's what I'm talking about. Go on, Frank. Oh, I could do without a replay. Extra time. Okay, thank you. Emerson's playing great, but he's, he's knackered. Victor Rebas is playing poor, so he's coming off for Ray. I think I've got one more sub now. It's extra time. Might bring Vieira on. Central attacking midfield. Klingenberg. Jahic. Come on. Find the pass. Find the pass. Pull it back. That's it. Pake. And again, Acosta. Acosta. It's broken to Klingenberg. We're going to go to VAR. My initial instinct was it wasn't going to count. But now I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, what could it be for? He was onside. We've not even gone to VAR for the decision. We've been overruled for some reason. Look at that. Yeah, don't know why. He was definitely onside by a mile. It's 2-1. Ooh. We've given it away. I think we're going to make a change. Do I go a bit more defensive? Well, the outcome of this highlight, oh, was going to determine that. Uh, Emerson's knackered. Despite getting an 8.2, he's knackered. Right, I've brought Screeve on to be an anchor. We've gone. We've gone to uh, a diamond. There we go. Acosta. Frank Pino. The Ray. Pull it back, Ray. Pull it back. Do not give it away, Ray. Oh, Jose Maria. It's the post. He's not been very good, Jose Maria. Uh, underwhelming since I brought him back from loan. They can kick off. I don't really want the highlights right now. I want just to get to the final whistle at 2-1. Jahic. As long as it's our highlight, I'll take it. Okay. Klingenberg's offside. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. Look at that. A good win. That's quarterfinals. We've been drawn against West Ham in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Here we go then. We are in the Camp Nou. Oh God, straight away with kickoff. But it was good against Newcastle. Our kickoff highlights. 
Jao Paolo. Vieira, he's give it away. Oh, God, we've got... A, we've had kickoff, and it's a Barcelona highlight. Not going to bode well for this episode, is it? Maybe I should have been a bit more reserved away from home, not played the two up top. But that's not my style. Aggressive. Here comes Ray. Don't know what Jao Paulo was doing. James Taylor. Find your man. Campos! We've watched the entire first minute and we've gone to VAR. This allowed. Heist Derner at the club doesn't even know the offside rule. Like, why is he offside? He's got acres of space. Oh, that's annoyed me. I want to bring him off. Would that be an overreaction? Jab Polo. Runs into space. Find your man. Inside. Inside's the pass. Oh, a Kanga. Okay. Campos. How greedy is he? There we go. It's a Barcelona highlight. Oh, it started as one. De Kuiper. Campos. Finally looks for a pass. Oh, João Paulo. Pedri. With the ball in. Oh, get it away. Get it away. It's away. Rojo. Gets it away. Only as far as Pego. Barcelona are starting to move through the gears now. Finding the footing in the game. It's gone wide. Let's get a bit of encouragement out there. Gone down really well. Right, so happy. I'm happy with the performance so far. The, right, we've got a problem with Piquet. Injured, but he feels he can shake it off. Well, I'm sorry, Piquet. I'm not risking you. Uh, Rossi. Okay, get on Rossi. Jao Paulo's been crap. Well, Frank Pino came on and scored, didn't he? So, who am I to keep Frank Pino on the bench? Diego Campos. I'm going to do it. Diego, Diego, Cam, Diego Campos has got 15 minutes and then he's coming off. Oh, Vince Aguera and Pino up front. Or to bring someone back and try and really start bossing the midfield. But Campos, if he doesn't score in the next 15 minutes, he's off. Because he's had a shot from outside the box when he should have passed it. And he's missed. He's, he was offside. Unforgivable, that offside. One minute into the game. And he found himself with so much space. Oh. <sighs> right. Do you know what? I don't like... Barcelona have got too much of the game. Uh, so Campos is coming off. He's getting a 6.4 now. And I'm going to bring on... I'm going to play Rossi as the um, deep line playmaker and support. And Ramos Vieira. I'm going to play him as a Mazzala. Yeah. Go and fill, go and fill, the, fill it up around here. Uh, Campos is now going to come off for Klingenberg, who is going to come in play here as the... I'm going to play him as a shadow striker. Why not? That's, that's going to be the team. I'm going to try and crowd them out in the middle. That's my logic. If he goes badly... And it goes badly, doesn't it? But I feel if we stayed as we were, we were only going to lose the game. Because I think for the first 15 minutes, it was all us. And ever since, it's been all Barcelona. The stats don't... I mean, passes completed 81%. I'll slow the pace down. Slow the pace down and slightly shorter passing. I'm going to play for set pieces as well. Oh. And here we go. We've got a set piece. Klingenberg. A bit too far for a shot, if you ask me. He thinks so. It's broken... He's broken to Elmi, of all people, our left back. We're not even going to VAR. It's 1 0 in the Camp Nou. And am I a tactical genius? Klingenberg brought on, Rossi brought on, um, play for set pieces, slightly shorter and slower paced. And ever since I've done all that, first highlight, goal. On by a mile. McGlone doesn't know the offside rule. Oh, Ray's, Ray's taking a knock. Uh, so, Victor Rebass is going to come on for Ray. Sadly, Frank Pino is playing abysmal. Rebass with the corner. It's headed over by Rojas. 
1-0. Can we hold on? Rebas with a clearance. James Taylor with a nod down. Sani. It's, it's, regardless of how this finishes, it's going to be very tense in the second leg. Elmi. Man of the match performance from him so far. Not with Pelé like that. Getting a bit too carried away. Jonathan. Pedri. Rebass with an interception, but he gives it away. Oh, hero to villain in the space of five seconds. A great interception. And he gave it away. Get it out. Straight from kickoff once again, Frank Pino, your time to shine. Ramos Vieira. Oh, oh no. Zanini saves us. Short corner, Pedri to Jonathan. Oh my God. What a lovely routine that was. Rojo hits it over. Rojas. Rebas. Right, just... That's it. Klingenberg. Come on, keep the ball. Oh! Klingenberg intercepts. Oh, brilliant! Brilliant! Not so brilliant. Cornelia. Ferreira. Rojas with the challenge. Rossi. To Klingenberg again. James Taylor, Frank Pino, Ramos Vieira. What a ball. Oh my God, it's like watching Barcelona. And he's missed. Passing at its finest there. <sighs> Elmi with a great challenge. Klingenberg. This will be the last attack of the game. But who will it be for, Chris Kamara? Barcelona, by the looks of it. McGlone, Hedry, Aruni, Arumi, Aruni, Cascone, Jonathan, Jonathan, oh, saved by Zanini, that's it, blow your whistle ref, it's over, it's over ref, 45 seconds over, Castilla, Jonathan, don't, they can't score now, this isn't fair, get it out, Oh, now you'll blow for final whistle when we're countering. Oh, dear. Well, a one or draw away. We beat Newcastle in the FA Cup. Not too bad of an episode, gang. Well, as mentioned earlier, we're, you know when we're back. We're, only, we're going to go away and play Leeds, and then we've got the second leg, and then City. So, yeah, for you binge watchers out there, I'll be wearing the same clothes. I'm just going to go and do that game quick, and then straight into it. So, yeah, take care. See you soon.